the phone? Thoughts, young man. There are many sharp things you could have said by varying the tone. You could put it in a way such as this. Sir, if I had no such as that, I would cut it off to please not spite my face. A nose like that must dip so deep a special goblet should be shaped for it. Tis a rock, a peak, a cake. Did I say cake? Tis a peninsula. Is it an oblong box for pen and ink? Is it a scissors case? I see you love the little birds, for you offer them perch for their tired feet. So, when you light your pipe and the smoke blows from your nose, the neighbors cry, look out, another chimney is on fire. Were such a burden upon you, had we careful well not to topple to the ground. Have an umbrella made for it to keep its hues from fading in the sun. Monsieur, Aristophanes, Hippocamp, Elephanto, Camelos. That fabled beast could not have borne such great bone and heavy flesh upon its head. When they just vogue, I do not doubt it is clever, fashionable, and yet useful. It makes a perfect hook for a hat. No spiteful wind that blows can make it catch a cold or magisterial nose. And when it bleeds, tis the Red Sea, such a sight for a perfumery. Is this the ocean shell, the weathered horn, that Triton flew when the old gods were young? Pray tell, have they unveiled the monument, and may we visit it? Congratulations, my sir, that theme is a house with such a tremendous view. Do not tell me that theme is a nose. I know a melon or a giant cucumber when I see one, and I sure see one now. Load that gun of yours, Point Blake at Cavalry. Entered in a lottery, 50 to 1, it is sure to take first prize. Or, in a parody of promise, you may have complained and sobbed. There is that traitorous nose that dared conspire against its monstrous face and turned it into a monstrous mockery. This, my dear sir, is what you might have said. Had you the least command of words or wit? But wit is something you can scarcely spell, and words you only know the three-letter ones. Stupid ones, such as us. And if by chance you had such skill in pleasantries, you would have stopped before you began the first words fumbling, stammering syllable. I laugh at just like these when I make them, and I utter no man alive dare to utter them.